Hello and welcome to 3D Print Passion. Today I like to flash my Atelier Genius Pro with the Digant TFT firmware. Have fun watching the video. The TFT version from Digant can be found on Thingiverse. The link will be below this video. You need to download the Atelier TFT firmware 1.27 patch 7 to flash your firmware. I will download this now to my computer. To have that firmware ready for the Genius Pro we need to make some modifications. The firmware is normally for the X1 and X2 systems so we need to modify the size of the bed. If you need other languages than English you can copy them from the language folder inside the firmware into the root directory of the SD card which will flash the Genius Pro. To modify the firmware we need first to extract it. Then we open the folder and here you can see the available language packages so if you like to use another language, copy only the any file to the folder above. Languages are really enough available, so in theory it's possible to find the good one. Yeah, the next step is to, to edit the configuration.ini. You should use Notepad++ or at least the editor, don't use Word or something like that. And we search the modification part for the bed size. This is named size underline max and we see here the x, y and z values of the x machines from Adlery. We modify that to 220 by 220 and set to 250. It is also necessary to modify the port speed between the main board and the display. This need to be replaced from 7 to 6 to have a connection on 250,000 baud. While the printer is booting, the Sidewinder X1 logo will be visible. So I don't like it and I show you how to replace that one. I made a modification, you can download it on Thingiverse, the link will be below the video and you only copy that file into the MKS BMP folder and replace the logo BMP. That's it. In the next step I prepare my SD card by formatting that one and it should be not bigger than a 16 gigabyte SD card and you should format it in FAT32 standard file size with 8192 bytes. So we copy all the file structures to the SD card into the root folder and during that uh, copy process is running um, I will make a very necessary information. Please don't use the Marlin firmware from Digant to flash your Genius Pro. That won't work. The Genius Pro do have another main board and that will cause you a lot of trouble. We only flash the TFT firmware, not the main board firmware. Our SD card is now ready to flash the printer. We put it inside the slot and power on the printer to boot. The booting process will start immediately and the updating process is beginning. This will take a few minutes. So the TFT is flashed. Very nice. Let's have a look to the new functions. 
if we go here to the nozzle temperature, we can decrease and increase the temperature from the nozzle. Here we can decrease and increase the temperature from the bed. We can also change the speed of the fan and the printing speed while printing from SD card. In the menu, we have here a lot of other functionalities like preheating for different materials. Very nice list here. We have the movement functions to move the printer along the axis manually, disarm everything or start the auto leveling system. Here we have the possibility to unload or load new filament into the extruder. And we have also the possibility to type in G codes directly to send to the mainboard. Also a very nice function in my opinion. Very nice is also here the status Atelier Genius Pro ready. Very nice. I will start now the auto leveling system by bed leveling and choosing the ABL function. Push on start and the auto leveling process will begin. So the probe is touching now the heat bed to make a pre-leveling of the bed. We will agree to the question on the display to save the status to the EEPROM. There are several different ways to set a set offset on an ABL printer system. I choose here a bed leveling print and to print that directly without any set offset leveling because I do this leveling on the fly while printing. So we see here the printer is heating up and start with its prints. What I do now is I check with my fingers and my eyes if the leveling is okay and move the nozzle up and down with the baby steps to see if everything is like I wish to have it. And here this one I like the most. That's exactly the offset I like to have. To save that set offset now to the EEPROM, we will push the button save and OK. That's it. Printer is leveled and set offset set. After I was checking a little bit the Digant website on Thingiverse, I have seen that there were some comments about Octoprint and Repetier server. So I was checking directly if everything will be working fine also with this option. And what I can tell is everything runs, everything is printing. So with Repetier server it works. I think Octoprint should also be not any problem here. Yeah, that's it. Thank you for watching the video. If you like it, please give me a thumbs up. If you like to see more videos from me, click on subscribe. Hit the bell to don't miss any new videos. Thank you very much if you like to send me a comment into the comment box. I wish you happy printing. See you next time.